40 plus billion dollars just here. Here's 40 plus billion. NATO gave them 5 billion. And they decided, you know what? You spent 5 billion trying to overthrow us politically. We're going to take the 40, was it 44 billion or whatever from Vladimir? And we're going to go ahead and uh, get out of debt that way. And the banks just said, you're not going to get out of debt. We're going to take down your country. And that's what they're now doing, it, just like Greece, just like Spain. So now in Krakow and in a bunch of other cities, it is just asymmetrical warfare, checkpoints, snipers killing people. <clears throat> the Russians are going to start fighting back. They've already been doing that. And they are firing now grenade launchers and helicopters and shooting them down. I mean, it is getting crazier and crazier. Pro-Russian forces are taking over TV stations. It is deteriorating very, very quickly. So I'm going to be breaking that down. Meanwhile, while all this serious stuff's going on and the world derivatives market is getting ready to go belly up again like in 2008, where undoubtedly all the charts show it entering that same zone, this time it's going to be much bigger. As all of this is unfolding, what are we talking about? Yesterday afternoon, I, I see on Drudge and everywhere else uh, the coverage of racist Clippers owner Donald Sterling, quote, as a Democrat. And I go and, and I turn on the television and I just knew it would be on ESPN. I go to ESPN and I see Magic Johnson talking about it. And I agree with what Magic Johnson was saying, but I just saw what he allegedly said. And I guess they were whitewashing it on ESPN while acting like they were going after Sterling. So I thought, hey, don't hang out with these players. You know, it doesn't look good. And, you know, my elite culture, you know, you need to be with me, the owner, whatever. And I thought, oh, that's just more race baiting, you know, more media diversions. This is all because I'm sick of all the Catholic against um, Orthodox in Ukraine and this African tribe against that. I'm sick of the balkanization. So I came on air and I said, you know, I'm sick of the decadent sports culture. I'm sick of the owners having to pay for all their stadiums. Just everyone's degenerate. I'm just sick of it. Until a caller called in and said, have you listened to the whole thing? So I got home last night and listened to 15 minutes, the whole tape. Because I, like, I don't like people recording folks secretly. I'm sick of it. And then editing it. So I said, you know, I don't like what he did, but I don't like what she did either. But then once I really heard it and started thinking about it, it is some of the most outrageous stuff I've ever heard. I, I mean, because this guy is a big Democrat. This guy makes money off predominantly black basketball players. It turns out he rents them a lot of their houses and apartments at loan sharking rates. The new players aren't making that much money. And he literally sees them as slaves. And it's literally beyond 10 times what Bundy said about, you know, were they better off as slaves because they're slaves now? Taken out of context, this guy literally says they're, uh, that in Israel, black people are lower than dogs and that, I mean, I listened to the whole thing and was blown away and then realized, again, I, I say I don't believe mainstream media, but still, when you're in a hurry, you, you, you know, you, you hear them quote it, you hear them play a clip of it on ESPN, and you hear Magic Johnson decry it, they were playing the whitewash, but acting like they had shown what he really said. Oh, honey, it just doesn't look good, you know, I'm the owner, and... You know, blah, 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 and I just don't want you dating these guys. It sounded to me like jealousy. So I'm like, you know, I am so sick of gold diggers recording people and just all the treachery and just all the stuff that goes on. And But then I really started thinking about it. How could you be friends with these people? That's what Magic Johnson talked about. And go out to dinner and play golf with people and, and then be secretly sitting there hating them. And then it all started clicking. That's why Democrats are always saying that conservatives and libertarians are secretly racist. Folks, I don't sit around secretly saying racist stuff. I mean, I, I might sit there every once in a while and talk about Richard Pryor when he would make jokes about white people and black people, and then you even feel guilty repeating a Richard Pryor joke about black people or an Eddie Murphy joke about, you know, his mom and the hamburger that had all the onions in it. Because, I mean, let's face it, it's fun to tell redneck jokes, too, and I'm pretty, I'm redneck stock, if you want to say. I mean, it's fun to make fun of Bundy going... I mean, but I'm not against Bundy. I mean, it's like, I'm not racist. I got one right here. Br I'm bring him in the house. I mean, you know, I tell that it's hilarious, but it's also very sad because Bundy's just a hillbilly. He's not racist. He actually doesn't want to abort all the black people.
That's the real litmus test. But man, I heard this clip, and here we are on the verge of World War III, and we're talking about this, but it's very interesting. So I'm gonna be breaking that down as well. Stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. It's all coming up straight ahead. The Victory Seed Company is a family-owned, farm-based organization working to keep rare, open-pollinated heirloom seeds available for your home garden with no unstable hybrids or GMO seeds sold. Learn about their mission at VictorySeeds.com. And for a limited time, enter Victory at checkout to receive a free garden planning tool on orders over $10. Grow your Victory Garden with Victory Brand Seeds. VictorySeeds.com. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Hi there. My name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at 123coverup.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are. Incompetent, lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up, and you will be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at 123coverup.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123coverup.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at 123coverup.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's 123coverup.com. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Heart and Body Extract continues to receive positive testimonials from people who have experienced amazing results, like Reed. I just wanted to send you a quick but a very big thank you for Heart and Body Extract. I've been on the formula for nearly a month now, and the improvement in the circulation of my legs has been simply amazing. Reed was facing a tough choice. I was facing surgery due to the severity of a 100% blocked artery in both my legs. And my decision, waiting for surgery to say no and try heart and body extract instead, has been thankfully the right decision. And the result? I can now walk up steps without noticeable pain. Order heart and body extract at 866-295-5305. 866-295-5305. Or hbextract.com. Heart and body extract for a long and healthy life. of banks that are basically running the planet. They want to make us poor so they can control us, obviously. And they will demonize any group they can so they can dehumanize them. 
demonize the Native Americans so you can take their land and kill them. Uh, demonize the Russian Ukrainians so you can demonize and attack them. Or if it was in the Soviet time, demonize the Western Ukrainians. It's the same thing. You say that your enemy isn't human. The Japanese dehumanized the Americans before they attacked us. We then dehumanize them. We dehumanize the Iraqis. Vice versa. And that's what you see in the divide and conquer system is that we say the Russians aren't human. And then they become our enemy and say we're not human and we're evil. Or you get the attitude of this uh, racist, I mean really hardcore, serious racist, uh, from the Clippers, Donald Sterling, making his living off of people and then basically talking about them like they're not even people. But this is what elites do. This is what elitism is all about. Most people go join elite country clubs. So in their town, they can feel like they're better than everybody. It's like cliques in high school. Instead of what does somebody stand for? What does somebody think? What art do they produce? It's what religion are you? Where do you come from? Who was your daddy? And, and, and obviously in culture and society, that's important to a certain level. But then you get people who literally only care about that because it lets them be on a power trip feeling like they're better than somebody else when they themselves have never really accomplished anything. And that's why these globalist elitists are the way they are. Most of them got their money out of swindles or hereditary money that has been passed down through their families. And what's really disgusting about it is all this race stuff gets promoted. Uh, uh, gets promoted and gets pushed and then we have all these serious issues going on and we can't ever even deal with any of that because we're being taught to constantly just obsess over all of this but think about how hypocritical it is that this guy's a big democrat a big democratic donor and i haven't looked into his stadiums but in most cases the big basketball stadiums the big football stadiums and hockey stadiums and all of them, baseball stadiums, are taxpayer funded. And that discriminates against everybody. It's like the Formula One owner all over the world. He gets Ecclestone or Ecclestein, whatever his name is, he gets the multi-billion dollar tracks paid for by the taxpayers. Austin taxpayers paid to build his Formula One track. And the guy as I've said many times, just last year, gave $3 billion as a gift to his two daughters. Hey, great, buddy, I'm not envious of your $3 billion or your helicopters or your palaces or they liked a hotel downtown and couldn't rent all the rooms, so they just bought it. My issue is I don't want to go eat in that hotel now because I know the money goes to you and you're already getting my money multiple ways. You're robbing it from me and you're robbing it from all the poor people. And see, that's the real discrimination, is that I shouldn't be paying for not one but two stadiums for Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboys at a cost of $2.5 billion if you count both of them. I shouldn't be paying. You shouldn't be paying for the Formula One track. It's incredibly pro profitable. I've done the math on top of it all being paid for. Of course this guy's got tens of billions of dollars. He's had scores of tracks all over the world built for him. And they use fake celebrity with all the mayors and locals clamoring to be in the box seats, to be around the movie stars who come to these Formula One races so we can all sit there and fit the bill for everything they're doing. And I like auto racing. I like motorcycle racing. The point is, is that I'm being discriminated against. So see, that's why I hate professional sports because it's all part of the Roman gladiatorial diversion. And then you've got a cherry on top of this totally disconnected billionaire and it makes me want to throw up it makes me want to throw up because i guarantee you all these stadiums are taxpayer paid for i haven't looked it up yet about the clipper stadium i bet you money that the stadium they're in was taxpayer paid for and so it's not just, he's not just, he doesn't just think the black players on his team are slaves. They think we're all slaves. And you know what? We act like slaves. I don't care what color you are, stop acting like a slave for these scumbag globalists who are literally feeding off of us, okay? I mean, quite frankly, we are their slaves.
I mean, it isn't a view of uh, Sterling and people that we're slaves. We are. We're on the march.